Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Progress with number six in this series of viewer games. This one is from Brazil, from Gabriel. He says, I'm 19 years old, I play chess about four months and I'm from Brazil. I thought you will like to, the idea to have viewers all around the world. Yes, indeed, Gabriel, I do like that. I played this game in iChess.com, 10 minutes for each side. I played with black and I played the Sicilian defense. I'd love to see this game on your Chess to Progress YouTube channel. Well, here it is, Gabriel. And it's quite amazing the level of play you have achieved after only four months, because this is a very well played game. Let's have a look. E4 from Gabriel's opponent, C5 from Gabriel, Knight F3, D6, Bishop C4, E6, Knight C3, Knight F6, D4, C takes, Knight takes, and here the most common moves are developing moves such as bishop e7 is the move that is played most and then black prepares to castle and bring his other pieces into play. Another move that is played a lot is a6 and that is really designed to keep any pieces from white out of the b5 square. But Gabriel decides to push d5, which is, has, does not have a great reputation. And we'll see in a minute why. e takes d5 is the right move. e takes d5 and then queen e2 check. An in-between move. White does not worry yet about the bishop on c4 that is attacked by the pawn on d5, but plays queen e2 check first. A strong move. Bishop e7 to, to deal with the check. Queen e7 would not have been that good because then the pawn on d5 is not protected enough and can be taken by white. And after bishop e7, bishop b5 check, dealing with the attack on that bishop. Bishop d7, and here white castled and missed a very strong option. He could have played here knight f5, putting more pressure on black's position, and that pin, the pinned bishop, is a real problem for black. You cannot kick the knight with g6, because then there is bishop g5, putting even more pressure on, now the knight on f6 is hanging because it's not really protected by the bishop on e7 because the bishop on e7 is pinned. You cannot castle with black because then the, knight, the bishop on e7 will be hanging. So just to continue this variation, if you play a developing move, knight c6, protecting the e7 bishop again, then there is knight takes e7 and queen takes e7. Bishop takes f6, winning a piece. As they say, a pinned piece is a very bad defender. That queen on e7 is pinned, so it's not really protecting the knight on f6, and that's why white wins a piece here. This is not a force variation after knight f5. There, is a, there are better defenses. The best move is for black to play the king to f8, just to take the bishop out of the pin, and let's show a possible variation after king f8, knight takes d7, knight b takes d7, knight takes e7, and queen takes e7, and bishop e3. This position is pleasantly better for white, material is equal, but of course what strikes the eye is that king on f8, black will have trouble in bringing that rook on h8 into play. White's development is very harmonious, he's ready to castle either side and then will nurse a nice advantage. As said, white castled instead of playing knight f5 and missed a chance to put a lot of pressure on black's position. Because after white castled, black castled too, there's no more problems with the bishop on e7, that bishop is no longer pinned and his position is about equal. 
King went on, bishop d3, rook e8, queen f3, bishop g4, harassing the queen, queen g3, knight c6 developing, white decided to take that knight, b takes c6, h3 kicking the bishop, Gabriel played the in-between move, bishop d6 to attack the queen for somebody only play, who only plays four months Finding such a in-between move is quite special. Bishop f4 from white. Bishops were swapped and Gabriel saved his bishop on g4. Rook ae1. d4. Knight e4. Bishop, bishop g6. Knight d6. That can be an annoying knight, but the knight also can get weak there because it doesn't have great protection. It's only protected by the queen. Rook takes, rook takes, and knight d5 attacking white's queen. Here, white had a rush of blood, played a spectacular, spectacular move, but spectacular is not always good. White came up with a very strange move, rook e8 check. It looks maybe good at first sight because it's winning the queen. But white probably had forgotten for a second that his own queen was also attacked by Gabriel's last move. What white should have played is a move like queen e5, just taking his queen to safety and keep protecting the knight. And that's what the white player did not do. He went for the rush of blood, rook e8 check, spectacular but losing. Queen takes e8 is the only move, and here white took the queen, but then Gabriel took white's queen. White played the knight back to safety, Gabriel took on d3, takes back, and bishop takes. The smoke is cleared, and we see that all that white had achieved by that rook e8 check move is that he is now a rook down. The game is immediately over. g4 from white. Bishop a6, making room for the d pawn. b4, there goes the passed pawn. Passed pawns must be pushed, is a saying. Knight e4, trying to deal with the d pawn. Rook d8, again. Supporting the pass pawn, king f1, and after d2 check, the white player resigned. There's nothing that white can do against the pawn promoting on the next move. Nice win from Gabriel in 29 moves, and again for somebody who's only playing 4 months, this is quite a good level. Pity that... White made that mistake, that rush of blood, as I call it, rook e8 check. He was slightly better, and it would have been interesting to see how this game had developed without that large mistake. Hope you enjoyed this game from Gabriel. Gabriel, thank you for sending it to me. Hope you found it instructive, and hope that you learned something. If you enjoyed it, please give the video the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess to Progress channel. And I'm looking forward to your comments, and I will reply. You also may want to check out my Chess to Impress channel. There's a lot of material there as well, almost 150 videos. This is Rick from Chess to Progress. Thank you very much for watching.